Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fabulous weekend. In today's video, I'm going to be talking all about the Sephora Summer Sale. I'll be sharing some shopping strategies, sort of tips and advice, as well as my personal product recommendations. Now this sale is only for VIB Rouge and VIB Beauty Insiders. And I believe it started on the 19th and 20th, but it lasts through the 27th. So you still have some time to shop. I know many of you have probably already placed your orders but just in case you haven't or you're ready to go back for more, this video is for you. Sadly, I lost my status with Sephora years ago, so I have not been a VIB Rouge or VIB Beauty Insider for a very long time. I personally will not be shopping this sale, but don't cry for me, I do receive a 20% employee discount for working at Nordstrom in the cosmetics department year round. So it's a nice little perk, a little frustrating at times like this because I wish I had that discount on some of the brands that I love that we don't carry, like Marc Jacobs and Givenchy. So I'm slowly but surely trying to work my way back up the ladder so that I can achieve VIB Rouge status once again. I went ahead and divvied up my product recommendations according to strategy, so this is just the way I would personally shop the sale if I had the opportunity. The first category I have to talk about is restocks, which may seem very obvious, but it's a good time to really sit down and think about those products that you are going to purchase again and again in the future. For the most part, skincare and foundation fall into those categories. I know there are always so many new and exciting foundation launches that come out, so you may want to switch around your foundation, but if you have one or two that are just your tried and true, it would be a good time to stock up on them. I'm actually wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless today. It's my first day wearing it and I have so much information to share with you guys. I talked to the Charlotte Tilbury team who just got back from training. So I have a lot of really great useful tips and tricks for choosing the right shade and application. Hopefully my video review will be up maybe Sunday or Monday, but in the next couple days, so be on the lookout for that. In terms of skincare, I have a couple things that I really love. Cleansers, I have two from Fresh. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is kind of the original. And then the Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash. I love this. It is very gentle, so on days that I need a deep, really rough exfoliation and they're few and far between, but occasionally I really want a scrubby scrub. I'll use my Tula exfoliator, but this is one that is gentle enough that you can use it basically every single morning, and it smells incredible. It's not an overly artificial strawberry scent, but it's just delicious and so yummy. And then this is a great cleanser for gently removing makeup. I typically have a full face because of I work in cosmetics, um, so I'll go in and I'll remove my makeup beforehand, but then when I jump in the shower, this takes all of the rain remaining remnants off and it's just very gentle and really nice and I feel like I've been having some really good skin weeks, uh, you kind of the days have strung together so that I've been having some really great skin weeks and maybe even it'll turn into a month <laughs> pretty soon and I think a lot of that has to do with gentle but effective cleansing. Another skincare item that I love that's available at Sephora because I've integrated a lot of different things recently and I am going to do that skincare video very soon, but it's the CEO Sunday Riley Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. I really only use this in the evenings. I have a different moisturizer that I use during the day, but I love it. It gives me a really great hydrated feel and I don't feel like my skin is overly oily or greasy when I wake up in the morning and a lot of times for me for whatever reason vitamin C does that to my skin but I don't have that with this moisturizer so this is one that I would recommend it's a very reasonable price point anyhow so this may be something that you feel like isn't worth purchasing during the sale because it's not too expensive but if it's a moisturizer that you love or something that you are planning to restock this is a great one to try. If you are a loyalist, it's the perfect time to stock up on your favorite foundation. I have a couple recommendations. The Givenchy Tint Couture Everywhere. I absolutely love this foundation. So this is something that if I had the opportunity, I would pick up a second one at a discount because it's only a matter of time before I go through this one. Also the La Mer Soft Fluid, this is a higher price point, so getting any sort of discount is incredible. So it's a really good time to pick up 
those more expensive foundation items that you plan to restock as well, especially going into the cooler months. If you do live in the type of climate where you see seasonal changes, good for you. <laughs> this is a great foundation that's hydrating and glowy and perfect for fall and winter. So this would be a really great one. I have a new addition to the list. This is a new favorite. So this isn't something that you would be restocking per se, but if you're in the market looking for a really incredible foundation that's going to blow you out of the water, I love this new Guerlain L'Essential Natural Glow Foundation. I reviewed it, I think yesterday, depending on when I get the video uploaded. <laughs> and I really, really love it. I have received so many compliments on this foundation. It wears beautifully throughout the day. So that instant perfecting that you see the moment you apply this foundation, it's still there hours later. That to me is the sign of a really good foundation. It has to last and look great later on in the day. A subcategory to restocks is those products that you use up quickly. So this is not just a product that you are going to repurchase again and again. It's those products that it feels like every month or every other month you are constantly going through them. So something like deodorant. This is one that I really like, and there are a couple natural deodorants that I kind of rotate between, but the Kopari coconut oil deodorant is really great. I know this was out of stock for such a long time because it kind of took the market by storm and everybody just kind of fell in love with it at once. Last time I checked on the website, it was still available. Oh, it smells so nice. So if you like a natural deodorant, this is something that of course you wear every single day. You never skip. Hopefully. <laughs> this is something that would be great to take advantage of. It's so inexpensive, but still worth saving any extra pennies you can. Brow pencils. My favorite recently, or currently I should say, is the Brow Master from Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals is carried at Sephora, but I did not find this product in particular. But if you have a brow product that you love and you go through it quickly, I know when I used to use the Brow Wiz from Anastasia, I felt like I was constantly picking up a new pencil. That would be something that you could get two or three or four or five of because it, you're going to use it and if it's a product that you love and you're loyal to it, you're not in the market to change it up or get something else, why not get several? stock up for the year even because it's something that you know you will use. A similar product would be eyeliner and I personally use black liquid eyeliner just about every single day. I currently own maybe five or six but there's maybe only one or two that I would repurchase in the future. The others I'm simply going to use up and as soon as they're done I'll throw them away and I'll never think about them ever again. They kind of just do the trick and I don't want to waste them. But the Tom Ford is one that I absolutely love. It's double sided so you have a sponge tip, a brush tip, and there are two separate cartridges. So it's basically two for the price of one. The price is higher since it's Tom Ford, but it comes out to being about $30 per eyeliner, which is relatively reasonable and on par across the board with what you'll pay from a Charlotte Tilbury, a Dior, Chanel for Tom Ford. So if you can stock up on an eyeliner that is going to last you a very long time and get a discount, that's a great opportunity. The next shopping category I wanna talk about is the expensive item you've had your eye on for a while category. This does not include those expensive impulse purchases that you just sort of add to cart on a whim. It's perfectly okay to splurge now and then, but those may be the items that get returned to store or you end up having buyer's remorse because you just sort of added it without thinking. And it's not necessarily the most efficient way to shop the sale. So these are the items that you know you're gonna love. You've tried it at your best friend's house or your mother or your aunt or your sister. Somebody has it and you love it as well. You've read reviews, you've watched YouTube videos. Now would be a great time to take advantage of getting a discount. So some items that I think may fall into that category or things that I would recommend, something like the Guerlain Lore Radiance Primer. This primer, I believe, retails for $74. That is pricey for a primer, and you probably have a Radiance Primer on hand that you love that's less expensive, but it's such a beautiful product. This is luxury in a bottle, and if you can take advantage of a discount, why not? This is something that you wouldn't regret purchasing. It just really does make a difference with your makeup. 
Another item that might fall into that category for you is the Dior Dream Skin. And this is the new reformulated Care and Perfect. I believe this size retails for $115. There's a larger size that does come with refills that are less expensive for $150. It's still pretty pricey for a skincare slash prep prime makeup step. It's more of a skin enhancer and I get a lot of questions of what does this do because I talk about it so much and I truly love it and rave about it. The benefits that I see in my skin, I have some redness, some rosiness, and this almost completely takes it away immediately. So I immediately see the redness gone, it fills in the pores, it helps tighten them so that my makeup lays smoother on the skin. It does have cumulative skincare benefits, so this is also supposed to help target fine lines and wrinkles. I really like the way it makes my skin feel and how it just instantly calms my skin down. So that for me is the huge benefit. It's why I really rave about this. A splurge that I picked up several years ago now, but I am so happy I did, is this Tom Ford Soleil Eye and Cheek Palette. This particular one is no longer available. This is the 01 Cool, but they're always bringing out reinterpretations of this product. So there will be different eyeshadows, maybe a different blush, different highlighter. I know at one point they had an exclusive palette that was just sold at Neiman's, but I did see these on the Sephora website and I had to add it to my list because even though I don't use it as often as I probably should, I love taking this palette with me on trips. It really is such a versatile palette. You have a lot of products right here at your fingertips. And I think it's sort of a good value for Tom Ford. You get the quad, the illuminator, and the blush, and it's relatively reasonable at 115 or 150. Still pricey though, so a great time to take advantage of that discount. I really have never regretted purchasing this. I love it. I kind of want another one. Another product category to consider when shopping the sale is fragrance. Fragrance is just always generally an expensive purchase. So if you can save, it's great time to do so. One of my personal favorite fragrances is Coco Noir from Chanel. I will always have a bottle of this on my vanity. It's the first Christmas gift my now husband ever picked up for me and it's something that I didn't wear previously. He just sort of chose it himself and I just fell in love with it. It has so much meaning and that's, you know, what fragrance does to us. So if you have a really memorable fragrance or something that is truly meaningful for you that you know you love to have and it adds value to your fragrance wardrobe and is going to just bring you so much joy, now would be a great time to pick it up at a discount. If you haven't tried Coco Noir, I highly recommend it. It's a really great evening, date night scent, perfect for fall winter. And again, if you live in a climate with seasons, <laughs> I envy you. This would be a great fragrance for you. My guess is there are a lot of people sleeping on this last category. In fact, when I was watching other people's Sephora summer sale videos, I noticed that many people approach the sale with strategy, and a lot of you big spenders probably have a cart full of La Mer, but let me just draw some attention to a very small little category known as travel, or the minis. Sephora is the best place to shop for those mini items that you take with you on the road or keep in your purse, and now is a great time to stock up on them, especially if you have trips or anything planned in the near future but also just to have on hand. How many times do you have a trip that just kind of sneaks up on you and you think to yourself, okay, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna try to pack my shampoo and conditioner? How am I going to get my body products, my hair products? And then you run out and last minute end up spending a fortune on those convenient sized little minis that tend to not be the best value. It happens all the time. I see it, I know I'm guilty of it. So now would be a great time if you have a trip or not to purchase a couple of your favorite items in the smaller size. It's never a good value, but if you can get a discount, it'll be a little bit better. You'll feel a little bit better about picking them up. So something like these watermelon cleansing wipes, there are only 10 in here. This is something that is so convenient to have. I'll pack it with me, I'll keep it in my purse. In fact, this does kind of stay in my purse, but it's nice to have stuff like this whenever you're on the road so that you can freshen up without having to bring those jumbo sizes. Another product that I would consider to be sort of a travel 
item is the new Kevin O'Quan Foundation Balm. And I should have mentioned this with foundations, but it's a new product, so it's not something that I'm restocking. But I love the plastic. It's not a glass jar. This would be a great foundation to take with you and pack in a travel bag. It's a lot more compact, and it comes with the foundation brush. So something like this would be great for travel as well. Those flash masks, the sheet masks that you throw on for five minutes or so, hand creams, hairspray, what else? Anything that you see in line at Sephora, and I'm not talking about just impulse purchases that you add to your cart when you are physically in store, just snaking your way through the line, waiting to get up to a register, blotting papers, those things that you like to keep in your car or at the office, in your purse, take with you on a trip, now is the perfect time. Take advantage while you have this discount. And that completes today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. If you've already shopped the sale, if you have anything in your cart, drop me a comment so I can live vicariously through you. As always, I will be linking all of the products mentioned as well as everything that I used today on my face down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.